Hey, 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 I'm early today. I don't know why my phone just takes pictures. Like, my phone just takes pictures randomly. What? What? Meow what? What you meowing about? Hmm? I don't know what you meowing about. It's Thanksgiving. And I'm trying to create molds. One, I'm just going to pour. It's going to be clear. And that's this one because I'm, I have to do something else to it. So this one is going to be completely clear. So I don't have to worry about pouring anything into that one. As far as glitter or any embellishments. My cat is having a temper tantrum and I don't know why. Princess, you want to be on the camera? I might have to mix some more epoxy, guys. Now, this is Dr. Crafty resin that I used to use before. And, um... I've had Dr. Crafty for... That's been sitting in, underneath my desk since before the summer. Because I wasn't doing any molds, actually. So... When I ordered it, I thought I needed it, but I didn't at that time. So, my cat's being snarky. I don't know what's wrong with her. But before I do this, let me be proactive. And let me set this on something I can pick up and move over without it without me dropping it so let's just be proactive right now with that but I think I still want to put just a little bit of a little bit of color in it just a bit yeah just a little bit Princess is out there. She wants to be homeless for Thanksgiving. This is what I'm thinking because the way she's acting out there, I pretty much think she want to be homeless. Because the stuff she's doing, she's acting a nut. Good morning to everybody. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, if that's what you... Uh-uh, what'd I just do? Oh, boy. What'd you just do? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Here you go. Hey, that's my husband. Hey, Menda, Menda, Menda. Happy Thanksgiving. You see me over here trying to just do a little song, song. I just really want the, um epoxy to have some tint I don't want it to be full glitter I want it to have a little tint to it and that's what this is going to be you could I think this is so cool you can see the the green in there and the crystals this is so cute this is what I want I don't want it to be any more than that because of the project that I'm going to be doing with this. So I'm not going to tell you all what the project is. As a matter of fact, I got to get it together and figure out how I'm going to do this. Because. Oh, that is so pretty, guys. You can't. I'm. This is this lighting is not doing this any justice at all. This is so fantastically beautiful. This is fantabulous. This color that I just put in here is the bomb.
Yeah, I'm still thinking, how would I do that? Because even if I put that, I think I'm still going to have to do two of these. Yeah. I thought I had two of these that were the same size, but I'm going to have to do this mold twice for what I'm planning to do. This is beautiful. Oh, that color is fabulous. And I'm using Dr. Crafty. I used, when I first started molding, I, this is what I started off using. And then I went on to try some other things. So I haven't used this one for a while and the reviews haven't been that great. Which I'm surprised about because Dr. Crafty was the shot. Dr. Crafty was the shot, shot, shiggity, shot, shot. Men, do you cooking today? Um, I don't know what size tray this is, Menda. But I can measure it. I can definitely measure it for you, darling. And I actually need your address, so you might want to send it to me. The way this uh, glitter is just glistening in here is oh so beautiful. It's like it's almost like a big giant snowflake that's just glistening. It's just so pretty. Oh, it's pretty. Now this this epoxy, this resin is very heavy. I don't remember it being this heavy, but when I tell you it is heavy, it is heavy. Can you all see this? Let me see. Can you just see how the, it looks like a snowflake. It's just so glittery. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is so pretty to me. That is gorgeous. Yes, that is gorgeous. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to try not to make a mess. But see, that's why I set it on this cardboard so I can move it a little better. So I'm just going to move this over here. Oh, I forgot to pop bubbles. Genius. I'm such a genius. And y'all know this. Let's pop some bubbles. I really didn't see any, but we just want to be on the side of let's not have any bubbles right right say it's right do it right be right okay so that was a flawless transition so we're gonna put that over there because i want to put this big head mold i want to make her too let me see if i can answer Linda's question to see what size this mold is because I really don't know. So it's measuring at 11 and a half long by seven and a half wide. No. Hold up, it's 12. Twelve by seven. It's twelve by seven. It's twelve by seven. Mm-hmm. Twelve long. So it's twelve by seven. I see it's a delay. Hey sweetie, you're always up to something. Great, sis. Yep, I am. 
What size is this tray? Eleven. Uh, what did I say? I forgot that fast. G. Williams got getting ready to get the macaroni and cheese and ham. Yes, he is. Yes, I'm going to North Carolina to celebrate with family. I'll send it to you. She going to North Kaki Lekki, people. Now, how does this get all the way down there? Who told this to move? <sighs> that moved all the way down there. Okay. So, now, y'all remember this girl. Y'all remember the big head girl. Now, I don't know if I have enough epoxy for her, but I'm doing this for... This is a request. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to do this clear or if I want to put color in it. Because one of my dilemmas with this person is that she, she likes coffee. And so, I wanted to do a coffee head for her and make the clock for her like I did for Cynthia. Because, you know, I made Cynthia's clock the color of her kitchen and I got to mail that off eventually. But that'll be her Christmas present. So I wanted to give my other sister friend a, a clock head. But she likes coffee, but she also likes butterflies. And I have butterfly stickers that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. They've been hanging on my wall since I don't even know when. But they're hanging on my wall. So I'm thinking about just doing this clear. Doing a thin coat of clear. And then put butterflies on it. Or do it chocolate or the color of coffee and then put some coffee stickers on it and put the clock on it. What y'all think? I thought it was at least 11 inches. Yeah. Yeah. If I was you, I would get two of them. I would just get two of them because I wish I had to for the project that I intend to do. I really need two of the same size, and I don't have the other one. I thought I did. If I find the other one, that would be great. But so far, in the, in the bin where I have the trays, I the, the trays are different sizes. And I don't want to take a chance to make the other tray, and it's a different size, and it's not going to fit what I needed to do. So that's going to be a couple of days process for me. So in the morning, I have to get up and pour another tray. Tomorrow's Friday, because I got a pop-up shop coming on Saturday. And I want to be able to um, have this ready. It's not going to be cured, but it'll be ready. And people can see it at least. And then I probably can take orders. That's what I'm thinking. So, um, what do y'all think? Should I make... She she loves coffee. She loves tea. She drinks tea more than she drinks coffee. But, um, I, should I do that for her kitchen? If I do a clock with a butterfly, because then she has another room, because she has themes in most of her rooms. So her kitchen is coffee. Her craft room is a lighthouse. She got lighthouses all over the place because she loves lighthouses. And um, I forgot what's in her bedroom. I know she has a lighthouse in her bedroom, but I forgot what else she has in there. But anyway, she loves butterflies. And I don't remember seeing anything recent. For butterflies, but I made her a tray last year with butterflies. So this one, I want to make a clock. But I think I'm going to do butterflies. What y'all think? What y'all think? Y'all not talking to me. Y'all not talking to me. Y'all not talking to me. So if I do butterflies, then... I need to think of what I'm going to do for her butterflies. Because the butterflies that I have on the wall are so pretty. But they're like a purplish color. Let me see if I can show y'all what I'm talking about. If I don't trip and bust my head. Because that's what I do. I forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb. Oh, I forgot to do that. So these are the butterflies. Right? So they're like a lavender color. So I was thinking about putting the butterflies on hers. Because her, her, uh, 
her Instagram. She calls it Butterfly Living. So I'm thinking about just pouring this and putting the butterflies. I've seen people put butter put uh things down on their tray, but I don't want it to be. I don't know. Let's see, like. I like to put a butterfly down there. That's kind of too far down. So. If I put, I'm trying to think, if I put it, if I take it out. The other side. I'm trying to think, should I put this here like this? Because I want her to see the. Yeah, because the front side, is, the clock is going to be on this side. The clock is going to be right there. Let me see, because you got to be precise with this stuff. And this is a good one right here. If, to do a chocolate, if I was going to do, if I was going to do coffee, I could have put this one on there. To do the coffee one. I think I might put this. Maybe I'll do coffee and she can hang it up in her kitchen. And then I'll do the butterfly one later. But I like the butterfly. Let's see. Is there a clock with a coffee thing? My stepmother, sister, and her children, grandchildren all live in North Carolina. You and the missus should meet me in North Carolina. The clock tray sounds very interesting. Well, I'm going to do the clock tray. I did one for Cynthia. But I kind of wanted to do her a butterfly one. But I think that since I have this clock already made, I don't have to waste epoxy. And I can just make the clock. So now the thing is, what color should I make the clock? I mean, the around here because I don't want it to be the same color as this so I'll probably do a cream color y'all know I'm not good with colors a coffee clock would look nice in the kitchen it would so I'm trying to think of what color to use to make it purdy because I want it to be purdy so oh I should use some mica powder I better hurry up before this thing starts setting up. So, I don't really feel any colors in here. I could do like cream colors. Let me look up something right quick and see what color of coffee. Um, Coffee cups. See what kind of coffee. Here we go. Okay, so there's a lot of kind of coffees I can put on here. Yeah, but what would be the background color? Because I could put stuff down the bottom, like down here, that look like coffee beans. Her neck could be coffee beans. I have to make some brown coffee beans. That's what her neck could be. Yep, coffee beans. Oh, I could put some real coffee in there. Just put the coffee in there. Mm-hmm. And then up here could be cream. Yeah, because I could I could put coffee beans right down here. And that could be 
coffee beans. You won't see nobody else with a cup like that. How about that? And then put that right there. Put the clock right there. So I'll put the clock right here. Coffee beans down here. And then make the rest of it like a cream color. I think that's what I'm going to do. I was going to suggest a cream color background. That's what I'm going to do. I'll do a cream color background. And that'll be good. Let me find my mica powder. But let me put my gloves on because this mica powder will be getting in the way, child. Let me put my gloves on. I'm going to do a cream background. But, let's see, the coffee at the bottom, um, oh, wait, wait, I might have coffee grounds. Hold up, Gina. Ugh, my feet hurt, but I mean, I gotta go downstairs. Ugh. My feet. I don't feel like going downstairs. Yeah, sure is, Lord, because I went down the steps and made it back up. Whew. Now, I have real coffee. So, let's see what it looks like. Or outline the entire frame. Oh, that's smart. Let me see what this is like first. Let's see. This ground coffee, y'all. Give me a second, I'm out of breath. Whew. So, should I mix the coffee with the epoxy? Hang on, let me pour the epoxy in first. I think I should leave this. What I didn't do with Cynthia's because hers wasn't done, but this is already done. So I'm thinking about pouring this because that's already chocolate. I can pour this mold clear and I can put a little bit of coffee around the edges but then in the middle, make it clear. I mean, make it cream. Because if I set this in here, it'll be cream in between there and that'll make it pop. But I don't want this coffee all the way around. If y'all hear what I'm saying. Let's see. Let me, um. Get the oh, this is pretty. But we're not doing that right now. Stay on point, young lady. Stay on point. That's silver. I need cream.
gold. What color is this? Pearl. I don't want pearl. I want cream. And this one, these ones are nasty. Mix it. All right. Let me see. That was nasty. What's this? Let's see. Pearl. I don't want pearl. I want cream. That's yellow. Why can't I find cream? This is annoying me. This says pearl gold. I want cream. Just plain cream. Not pearl. I want cream. I'm going to try to mix it, Minda. See what happens. This with all this ting ting in. Let's see. That's white. Everybody wants to do pearl. We can't. I don't see any cream. Now I open up three boxes of mica powder and I don't see any cream. Uh-oh, what's that? Pearl Golden. I might have to use that. Because I don't see any cream. And I don't know how to make cream. I ain't finna... You know what, ink pens? If y'all don't stop. Unless I miss brown. What's wrong? This is black. I would have to try to mix these two, but I'm probably just going to use this. So, let me try. Because this is getting hot, so I got to. Let me just pour this. Because it's getting hot. Okay, y'all. I know. I was in the way, right? Because it's getting hard. So. I hope I don't have to do this one again. But it's looking kind of lumpy. This one is hot. This one? Yeah, I'm gonna have to make some more because this is not gonna work. Look at that. Look how it's coming out. Yeah, that's a done deal. That was a done deal. Ay. A done deal. I can't do nothing with this.
nothing. Look at how that's looking. I'm going to have to do that over. Oh, I'm going to spill the coffee. Okay. I don't even know where the... Okay, I see you. That's not going to come out right. That's not going to come out right at all. All this wasted material. Dr. Crafty didn't used to set up this fast. But I did kind of have it out for a while. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying not to waste this mold. This stuff. So since she's going to have a crunchy head, let me try to just make it crunchy. Up there and then I can just go in later and try to decorate it. See if I can do something with it. Because even like that, something can be done. I'll do something with it. When you be able to control and contain the coffee, pour much better if you mix it. I'm sure it will. Hey Ruth, you're up in Adam. I'm trying, girl. I'm trying to. When I feel better, I'll try to do stuff. Um, you know. So. This right here is a mess, but it's so hot. So since you said that, Minda, I am going to try to mix a little bit and still pour it down here. Because I ain't going to let this go to waste. Because I'm still going to put this clock. Even if I don't use this one, I'm still going to put a clock in here. But I still need it to be cream color. It still needs to be cream color. So, that one is a bust. A B-U-S-T bust. But, let me see. I thought I had two of her. Because I got a man. I thought I had two girls. I thought I had two girl trays. But I got so many um, molds around here. I would definitely have to find that one. So I have no idea where that one is. So we're going to let her be great. We're just going to let her be great. And I don't want to mix up epoxy just for the heck of it. But I'm thinking that since she's a little lumpy and she's a little like that, I can just come back in here. And um, ooh, the, and when I tell you this is hot, child, Dr. Crafty, don't be playing. But you can see how this could be. You could actually do something with this. It's wrinkly, and that's cool. Because you could actually do something with the wrinkles. And then just put another layer on top of it. Well, I just might say, you know what? Just forget it. Because that's going to be lumpy. And I want to put the clock. I want to put the clock in it. So, unless I find the other mold. 
I'm not going to put that clock in there because she a little too, she a little too, too. Right. Um, and there you have the reason for the poor reviews on that particular epoxy. Yeah, but I think it's part, it's mostly my fault though because I did let it sit kind of long because I, I was messing around and I poured that other mold, remember? I poured that other mold and I was messing around, but... It was getting hot, so I should have I should have really got it out of there. But this will be a different mold because it'll be lumpy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm going to mix up a little bit. And, um, hi, Ingrid. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Give it an overall cracked glass look. Exactly. Yep. I can still work. It can still work. Gives it a textured look. Yep. Happy Thanksgiving. To my American sisters. Yes, Miss Canada. When is y'all Thanksgiving? Because y'all don't do Thanksgiving today, do y'all? But if you do, happy Thanksgiving. And if you don't, happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Yeah, that'll be a different look. This definitely would be a completely different look. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add up a little, mix up a little bit of epoxy. And um, take these gloves off because they got that mica powder on it. So I can mix up a little epoxy and still put it down here and make it her neck be coffee. Because I don't want too much brown up here since this is going to be... Lord, if one more thing drop over here. Since this is going to be here. So I'm still going to have to come back in with a color, a cream color, over top of this. And for real, for real, that could look like steam coming out her head. Coffee. Steam. Coming out her head. Mm-hmm. It could look like steam. That's what it could look like. Show sure can. Well, we're not going to worry about that right now. Right now, we're going to mix up some resin for right here. Let me make sure I have everything I need in front of me so I won't be looking for stuff. And then get upset because the resin gets hard since now we know that this resin gets hard. Okay, so let me mix up some resin. Mm-hmm. Let's see, because this joint is hot. Now, I never poured resin on top of resin that wasn't cured. So, I'm a little curious what would happen if I did that. I'm just a little bit curious. We had ours in early October. Oh. Out early October. Okay. Okie smokey dokie. Let's see. I look at a lady, um, I'm just going to pour this to the end, I mean, to the bottom of the first line, because I'm not trying to make that much. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I'm making a mess, I'm making, y'all want to hear me sing, right? Fine then. I don't want to hear myself sing. How about that? How about that? Let's see. Ew. Chill. Come on. Oopsie. Ooh. That's at the bottom of the first line. That's at the bottom of the first line. We have success. We have success. Oh my goodness. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Oh, 
trash can stop. So what I'm thankful for on this Thanksgiving 2021, I'm thankful that although I've had many struggles this year, I'm thankful that the blessings outweighed the struggles. I'm thankful that God is still allowing me oof, to be alive. And I believe that reason is because he has a purpose for my life. I do believe that God has a purpose for my life. I do believe that. He's always had a purpose for my life. And I thank him. Because quiet as it's kept, my life could have been a whole different type of life. But God blocked it. God blocked it. And even with my struggles, yeah, it's supposed to be thick like that. Yep, the second resin, the thick one is the hardener. This one is the hardener. Is this the thick one? No, the thick one is the resin. Is the uh, resin. And the thin one, believe it or not, the thin one is the hardener. So it thins out when you um, mix the two together. It still thins out. If you can, you really can't see all of that, but this resin used to be the shot. When I first started doing resin, I used to use Dr. Crafty all the time. You couldn't tell me nothing. And they got all, they used to get all five-star reviews. They still don't get, I think they're at four and a half right now, which is still not bad. But if you read the 1% and the 2%, People just be going off. I'd be like, ooh. So. I'm going to mix it like that. <laughs> Ain't <but> you praying? <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Make that prayer. But what I was saying was, I'm thankful because... You know, <coughs> I'm still here. Because it didn't have to be that way. There was many days I didn't think I was going to make it. But God stepped in. And he saw fit for me to make it. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my husband. Because he crazy. He is crazy. I'm thankful for my family. They crazy too. And truth be told, y'all know I'm crazy, so. I guess it's a good fit. Look at that. Them coffee grinds. In there. I wish I would have had some coffee beans, but that's coffee. So I'm going to pour it in here. Let's see what happens. Because now that's coffee. That's a pretty color. Uh, Miss Menda. What? Look at that. Ooh. That is pure coffee and resin. What you say? Now you make me want to just go pour this all the way around. I think I should try it. Oh, that looks amazing, doesn't it? Who said I missed the beginning? What is the coffee for? And look, I'm making a clock. 
um, because my friend that I'm making it for, my sister, my crab sister friend, and y'all pray for her. Her name is Cookie. Her brother died. Um, her youngest brother died. What's today? Thursday. I think it was Monday. It was her mother's birthday. They had the birthday party. The brother cooked all the food and everything. And that night when he went home, somewhere between the night and the morning, he passed away in his sleep. And my friend Cookie, who I'm making this for, is just broken up. She's just a mess because nobody expected it. And then she was the one who had to tell her mom that he had passed away. So pray for her, please. Her name is Cookie. And she's really, I called her yesterday, but they was at the funeral home. So I didn't get a chance to talk to her, but you can imagine having spent all that time that day with your brother and the next morning, not even 24 hours later, he's passed away. So trying to give her her space because she has a big family. I'm trying to give her her space so they can work out what they got to work out. This coffee down here is beautiful. Thank you, Ingrid. Hi. I'm trying to see if I can see that name. What'd that say? Oh, Jesus. I can't. What'd that say? Half Life Sister. Hi, Half Life Sister. Yeah, so if you guys could just. You know, just whisper a prayer for her because she's going through. And I feel really bad. And then my other crab sister, um, over the weekend, I believe it was, her cousin was murdered. And then my other crab sister, her... um cousin passed away in a car accident and then I don't know if y'all heard about that Asian thing that happened in Philadelphia where the four teenagers beat up these Asians on the train well one of the teenagers is my niece my great niece well, people threatening her life it's been hellish for me and my craft sisters. So. Just pray for all of us. And for the world. Because. We are by far not the only people going through stuff. But. In all of this I'm still thankful. And all of this, I'm still thankful. Guys, it's going to go over to the middle. Middle, middle, middle. I don't think it's going to move too much, though, because... I really want the coffee to not be clear. I want it to really be coffee. And when she looked at it, she was like, what? I'm like, yep. All the crafters told me to do it. Ooh, that's, look, that's hard. But see, that part needs to be cream. So I need to mix up a little more. This world needs the prayers. Yes, you make this resin crafting look easy. I'm so afraid to start using resin, but I'm so excited. And I love the coffee idea. Thank you, Half-Life. But guess what? I was scared when I f um, first started doing it too. But sometimes you got to face your fears head on. You got to be like, bam. And that's exactly what I had to do. I had to face my fears head on. And just be like, you know what? I got to do this. I'm still dealing with a one particular fear that I really haven't dealt with yet. 
And that's um, beating these cups and making that spoon, that spoon head. Remember that spoon head that um, Shawana did? And she was like, we going to do it. And I was like, yeah, we all going to do it. I was like, I ain't going to do that because I tried it. <laughs> Girl, when I tell you, I tried it and it just wasn't working out for me. I said, mm-mm. I'm not even going to play myself with that one. I'm just not going to play myself. So I didn't. I didn't do it. No, ma'am. So now this part right here. Here I am pouring some more. Y'all. Crafting is expensive. This is all I can tell you. This is why people try to get monetized. But monetization isn't working for me. Because I'm not on enough and I'm not getting enough views. Because when I drop off, when I'm sick, then I lose views. Because when I come back, people don't really watch like they did before I dropped off. So, every time I make money, they take it away. It's just really weird the way they do things. So you have to really be consistent if you want to be monetized because they don't play. The money that you already earn, they deduct it based on how many views you got on it that day. So that's the kind of games they play. So if you're not on a consistent basis doing this, or if your followers feel like they don't want to you know, be what you're doing, your highs and your lows, then it affects your money. So, I'm at the point where I'm going to craft because I like to do it. And if the Lord bless for people to start watching again like they were before and even surpass that, then I can start being monetized. But, You know, lupus is not a joke. Lupus attacks you. And when you're having a bad day, you have a bad day. And stress doesn't help. So, at this point, I'm here having fun because y'all could be cracking me up. I'm going to start working on it next week. Please do. Oh, looks like a keeper. Yeah. I have notifications turned on for you. I'm glad I'm up working in my little studio so I can watch. I'm glad you're here. Because it's Thanksgiving and people usually just be cooking and carrying on. <laughs> Hi, Adele. How are you? Hey, Adele. Thank you for stopping by. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Yeah, Half-Life, I really am glad for this crafting. And God knows what he's doing because if I didn't have this craft, then I probably would be in somebody's mental hospital somewhere. <laughs> Not funny, but it's the truth because um, sometimes when you have a terminal illness or a non-curable illness, let's say it that way, um... It becomes depressing sometimes. But then you have to think about God. And like my husband says, God did it before. He'll do it again. You know, you're going through a trial right now. You're going through this thing right now. And even though I'm going through what I'm going through, it's still helping people. Because people are looking like, well, dang. She really, she really going through that? Yep, she really going through that. Y'all, I feel like I need to put some more coffee in here. Like right in here. Can you guys see this? Like right in here. It's too clear. I just feel like I want to put a little bit. Let me do it with my fingers because. I really want that coffee to be. I don't want any. Spaces in there. Let 
the clear spaces. I don't want it to be clear. The whole point was it to be coffee. Chef Boy RG is down there cooking. So, he's cooking breakfast and he's about to make macaroni and cheese. His signature macaroni and cheese, that is. So, Lord willing, I'll take him to see his mom tomorrow. Because I don't think we're going to Zay. Especially since he's cooking late and we got to go. You know, with his aid, we can't just go by ourselves because I can't I can't push him in his uh wheelchair I can't do it so we gotta go you know okay y'all so now the chocolates the chocolate is in there Get in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. The chocolate, latte, latte, chocolate. That's in there. So now we don't want to make the same mistake as we did a few minutes ago. Right now, it's still pliable. It's not hot at all. One thing I'll tell you about Dr. Crafty, if it start getting hot, you better get the moving. That's what I'm going to tell you. Now, I don't like my cream to look like mud. I don't like my cream to look like mud. I like my cream to look like cream. But some people, they be tripping. Ooh! Look at that. You see that? Yeah, see, that's, that's like too gold for me. Cause I can't find my cream, y'all. That's too gold. So what'll happen if I put? Mm -mm, that's too gold. That is too gold. I'm mad. Look at that. It's too gold. Oh, Ingrid left. Ingrid, gotta go, ladies. Drive ahead of us. All right. God bless you. Godspeed. Be careful out there. Y'all see how gold that is? I'm just, that's not cool. I don't want it to be gold. Now, I want my cream to be light, but that's gold. Yeah, I'm still on live. I'm still on live. Sorry, y'all. Chef Boy RG done made breakfast, so. He want me to come downstairs and get breakfast. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now. What I do with the clock? So, y'all, this thing is almost solid. That's crazy. And this right here, we don't want you to be. Mm -mm. Nope. We have to address that right there. Okay, y'all. This is the clock. I'm going to put this in the middle. Look at that. One thing that's working to my advantage somewhat is that this this stuff got hard. So it's easier to pour it. It won't run as much. You feel me? So that cream that cream
cream. That cream. Oh. Look at that. What? Of course, Ruth, I see a face in there, so. Of course, I see a face. Yes. I know y'all was like, she need to cover that up. Well, she did. She did. What? Yo, this is something I ain't never seen anyone do. I'm going to put this coffee right in there because I want it to mix in and I want it to be real coffee. And that's what this is. Real coffee. Uh-huh. Yep. Get back up here. Put some up there. Boundaries. Get up there. Get that coffee in there. Shake them up, baby. Shake them up. Listen, I hope somebody watched this and be like, that lady is nuts, but I'm going to try what she just did. And it's funny, though, because even though I messed up, it's still working out for my good. Because y'all encouraged me. Because I was going secretly, I was going to throw this sucker away. But honey, they, what? It is done. She is done. Hey, Miss Dusty! Lady T, where did you get the head mold from? Um, Half Life. I got it from um Amazon. I got it right from Amazon. Now, should I put this in here now? Should I put this mold in here now, guys? Guys, talk to me. Should I put this mold in there now? <sighs> Thank you. When I look for resin molds, they are all basic earring molds. I'm going to look and see if I can put the link in there. Hold on. Give me a chance. Add the mold now. All right. Once I put it in there, I can't change it. Half-Life said, add it. <laughs> Half-Life said, do it. Just do it. Because I didn't do the other one like that. I don't know. I'm so confused. Why are you confused, Dusty? Well, once I do it, it's done. It's in there, y'all. I might have to set something on it, though. Because it's not actually level 
all the way around. So, I might have to set something. Oh, no, I don't want to set that resin on it, though. Mm -mm. That's too heavy. But I want it all to be in. You see what I'm saying? It needs to all be in there. This one's, ooh, ooh. Y'all, she dripping on me. Oh, cause she hanging off the table. She started dripping. When I put that uh on top of there, it just dripped all on my leg. <sighs> <sighs> drip, 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 drippity, drip, drip, drip. I keep diaper wipes in here. Girl, you know I've never done anything like that. Baby, you on your own. That's a shame. She said I'm on my own. Don't let me on my own. I do crazy stuff when I'm on my own. Yeah, that just really just dripped all over my knee. The thing about it, though, I'm going to drill it on her anyway, so I don't want you to turn anymore. I want you to sit right there. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be too heavy. Let's see. Let's see how that's going to work for me. Because remember, it was lumpy from the resin getting hard. But uh, it's really this side and this that need, because this other side around here is well into the resin. This side, I want to make sure the resin gets it. <laughs> and you see the coffee just spread on down like there. Listen, because I could put a coffee cup right here and that could be, the, you know, steam going up or whatever. But I think she's going to love it. I hope she does anyway. Because as y'all can see, I put a lot of effort into this one. I don't be doing that kind of stuff. That's what I do, but <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. So. Oh, thank you, Half Life Sister. I'm hoping she's going to love it. And because she's consumed with what's going on, you know, that her brother passed. She ain't going to watch this, so <laughs> I don't have to worry about her seeing it. But I think my other crafting sister will see it. Cynthia. I'm surprised she's not on here. Because we usually be on the phone gabbing it up. Load up and come on to the house for dinner. Food's almost... Listen... I ain't going nowhere. You heard me. We're not going anywhere. We're going to sit our little old butts right here. That's what we do every Thanksgiving. We never do anything because my husband's side of the family is very small. My side of the family is big, but everybody has their own family. So, like my sister that's right under me, she goes to her mother-in-law's house. And, you know, all her in-laws and stuff, they're over there doing what they do. And my other sisters, they chill with their family, their kids and stuff. So nobody never really comes over. My sister-in-law, my husband's sister, she has her family. So they do Thanksgiving over there. We used to 
do Thanksgiving with his family, though, because that was before his mom, you know, became ill. And now she's in a nursing home. And, you know, it's just different now. Things have changed in our family. So, then I have one brother and his wife. They live out by the airport. And, you know, we just don't go any places too much because... You know, our physical challenges and stuff, it's a lot. And my husband has cerebral palsy, so somebody has to be with him. You know, his nurse has to, his aide, and she gets off at 3 o'clock, so people don't eat dinner that early. So even if we went, you know, we wouldn't be able to sit down and break bread with anybody because it's too early because we got to be back in time for the aides to come. So they can get off of work since they don't get overtime. But it's a lot that goes on with our lives that people just don't really understand. They see us, we're jolly, we act a fool on the TV, I'm on the computer all the time. Because that's who we are for real. But I'm pretty sure he got that macaroni and cheese. He got at least got the macaroni boiling. He's going to put that cheese and stuff on there. The aid will be here in a few minutes. So, he'll have her to help him with the rest of the stuff. I usually don't cook on Thanksgiving. Most of the time, I put if I do, I put the turkey on. But he does the rest. Or I cook greens. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, I will cook. I just hate cooking. But I cook. I know how to cook. I know how to cook greens and sweet potatoes. and uh, I don't do the pies, though, because I don't know how to do that. But I did buy a pie, child. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did. <laughs> No shame in my game. I sure did buy a pie. Show to the show, show enough. Yeah. Then I can embellish this a little bit with some of these chameleon powders. Probably this one when it gets done. A little hit over there, a little hit over there. So, we're going to believe that this is going to turn out just perfect for her. Yup. Maybe I can make her a pen with some coffee grounds. What you think? Maybe I could. Make a pen. Make a pen. Y'all don't want to see me. I don't have my hair on. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. Y'all don't want to see me. Anyway, I'm about to go get my breakfast because my husband cooked it and he said it's done. So that's the girl. Oh, crrr. and that seemed to be moving on down the side, but I'm not mixing up any more epoxy for true. And I don't want this epoxy to um get stuck on this, so it's not it's not coming up enough to stick it. So that's good. So I'll check y'all out later. I'll show y'all the finished results. If I decide to make something else, I'll probably videotape it because by the time I decide to make something else, everybody will probably be eating or at least doing something for Thanksgiving. So thank y'all for joining me. Peace and blessings. Peace, love, and blessings. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. We love y'all. All right. Have a good day. Have a great day. Why am I doing that?